One of the circuit designs I use in my explosive endurance training program is a power pyramid. And so what this is, is basically a body weight strength exercise superset it with the body weight explosive exercise. And so it kind of really works good for wrestling because we're always attacking, attacking, attacking. So the explosion just adds a little bit of burn, helps you with your stance, especially in the third period. And so this first, this first challenge I'm calling the wrestler's challenge, just wrestler's challenge one. This is a power pyramid just using a squat and a split leap lunge back and forth. And the power pyramid is like a ladder. So you're gonna go all the way up to 10 with these two exercises and rest about 30 seconds at the top. So remember in wrestling, there's not a lot of breaks, but there are 15, 20 second breaks, 20, 30 second breaks whenever you go out of bounds, coach goes to the table or talk to referee, score table, or if there's an injury timeout, there's little breaks, and then there's breaks in between periods. So there's gonna be little breaks in this, and then there'll be breaks between periods. But the way I want this to do, you're gonna do the pyramid up to 10. So this is the pyramid. It's the two exercises together. So first, for one rep, it's a squat and then a split leap lunge on both sides. So that's one rep, now we'll go to two. Two squats, two, make sure you do both sides. And now we're at three, two, three, and then three of these. One, two, three, and four, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, now five, one, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five. In the challenge, as an example, you're going to go all the way up to 10. And once you get to the top of 10, 20, 30 second rest, and you're going to go from 10 all the way down. So if we're going down from five, it would be three, four, five, two, four, five, and then we go to four. Four squats, four, three, three, two, two. So in the challenge, you're gonna go all the way up to 10, 20 to 30 second rest, go all the way back down, starting at 10. Going back down. Once you get to 10 and back down, you get a minute rest, and that's the end of the first period. So you're gonna do up to 10 and back down again. That's the second period. Up to 10 and back down again. That's the third period. If you can complete that, time this too. So every time you do it, you'll be able to beat your time. It's great to get you ready for wrestling season. Because imagine third period, if you can get all the way to the top, back down with those limited amounts of rest, first couple times you do it, you probably have to give yourself a little bit more recovery time at the top and at the bottom. So you can get to where you can just rest 30 seconds at the top and just rest a minute between periods. Then you'll be able to, your legs are going to be in great shape in the third period. But try this out. It's a wrestler's challenge one and let me know what you think.